Monday, and it's time for us to talk technology. Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, joining us here on Power Talk Radio. Good day, Luis. How you doing? I am doing well. Week two of the uh, coronavirus quarantine, and uh, we're still here. Yeah, so that's a good thing. We're all hunkering down inside, yeah. practicing our social distancing. So uh, a worldwide hackathon, hospitals now turning to 3D printing to solve problems of, of manufacturing parts they need for health equipment. Talk about it. This is a really interesting development. It's a positive thing in light of all the negative going on. Basically, as we know, there's been a lot of reporting in the news about shortage of everything from masks to ventilator and ventilator parts and all sorts of medical devices. And so what's going on is that the 3D printing community, and these are folks who do things with printers that exude plastic parts, are coming together to try to satisfy some of those needs. And so they're banding together all over Europe and the United States. Colleges, for example, usually have some maker labs. These are labs where students can learn to to manufacture things. And now they're all being turned to support this massive effort to come up with more medical equipment, in particular masks and uh, ventilators. This is really where, and it always happens in in times of great national stress like a war, where necessity becomes the mother of invention. Absolutely. And what I like about this is that these are efforts that are being done at the grassroots. You know, this isn't like a national top-down thing. These are groups that are connected online that suddenly said to themselves, hey, we have a part to play in providing components and helping replace worn out parts and ventilators or parts that have to be replaced whenever the ventilators move from one patient to another. And some of the big manufacturers of these components are being overwhelmed with demand. So having this cadre of small providers of parts all over the country because of the maturity of 3D printing is uh, something nice to see. 3D printing came along at the right time a few years ago. It's gotten refined and we're able to do more with it. And we're going to see the technology leapfrog from this. This is generally what happens. There were a number of technologies developed during World War II that helped those technologies leapfrog after the war and become commonplace. And so uh, just like we saw with the space program, technologies that were developed for that came out of that and leapfrogged in the 1970s. And so I guess we're going to see the same thing here. Yeah, I think what we're going to learn is that these uh, 3D printing and maker operations can really augment, if not completely replace, the traditional manufacturing cycle, being able to make things out of plastic and out of other materials that are easily produced by these 3D printers. Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, has been our guest today. You can reach them, alvareztg.com, on the web, at alvareztg is the Twitter handle. And Luis, the toll-free number for the I-Team. Give us a call at 866-78-I-Team. That's 866-784-8326. Power Talk, 1460 and 101 FM. And iHeartRadio station.